Yo, what's going on guys? DJ Hats here, CollectiveKicks.com, and I wanted to bring you guys a video and show you guys that I use this glow-in-the-dark Angelus paint that you can see right here on a pair of Ultra Boots. And the end results, um, I think, are pretty dope because of the crazy, crazy glow that these things now have on them. But there's a couple of caveats and a couple of downfalls to uh, doing this to this pair of sneakers in particular, or probably any if you use it on a cloth upper. But... Um, it would probably be recommended to use an airbrush sort of thing or whatever instead of just paint a paintbrush, which is what I used, uh, because it makes it more evenly distributed, obviously. But, uh, but I, you know, I didn't have an airbrush, and I just wanted to use what I did have. And so I think the overall end results are super dope with the glowing. Uh, the downside, though, is the chalky kind of finish on this type of material as well. It's not a great idea because this is that beautiful, like, uh, prime knit upper. It's, like, really soft to the touch and then now it's really really hard to the touch but um it's only on the outside on the inside it's totally fine but on the outside it's kind of like a harder shell so it doesn't really overly affect the wearability of these these are super wearable like this uh but just for those that are wanting that soft texture it's definitely not soft anymore because this material uh, i had a cake on the uh the glow stuff because i couldn't evenly distribute it as well as if i use the airbrush so kind of a kind of a reason for that but also, the other thing is you might not like the overall color. You could see the color is different. It has that off-white, sort of greenish-white look to them, and that's because, obviously, of the, grow pig of the glowing pigments uh, to, the, uh, to the shoe. But I kind of like the off um, color. I think it looks kind of cool, actually, with that like off regular glow color. But these things light up like crazy. Um, and for that reason, I was like, this is definitely a, a kind of a fun thing to do. One thing to note when you're actually doing this, I'm not going to show you guys me doing the other one yet because I actually ran out of paint because this little container only did one shoe. Uh, and part of the reason is again, because I didn't have the airbrush. So I kind of had to waste more than I needed to, but the glow effect is again, pretty crazy. So this is only one ounce and it's really, really important that you mix this really well. So use like a, a stir stick and mix the bottom because I didn't really read the instructions and I didn't get the sediment off the bottom. So the first layers were really like thin comparison and watery. And then as I was going, it was thicker and I was like, damn it. So I, I ended up filling the rest of the container up with water and then stirring it really well. And then this is kind of the end result. So I made uh, it work for whatever I could, but, uh, but I was kind of bummed because I didn't pay attention to the instructions on here and it definitely says uh, stir it. A couple of other things uh, to note. I have a black light. I'll put a link in the description to a black light similar to this. This is very helpful when you're trying to paint this instead. Uh, uh, if you don't have a, a black light, if you have daylight, you have to just do it in daylight, bring it outside and then bring it inside a darker room and then see this kind of the spots that you missed and then fill in the blanks uh, as you go. But the black lights great to be able to do that as well. Also, I had the uh, heat, the heat gun back there as well. So I use that to, to dry like the, uh, materials on the, uh, the boost because you have to really make sure this stuff gets dry before you can, uh, obviously start wearing it and stuff. But but that's pretty much it, dudes. I just wanted to show you guys this part of it. I'll go ahead and show you guys me time-lapsing a bit of the painting, and then I'll show you guys the on-foot section uh, towards the end where the glow is, again, pretty crazy. I also have an on-foot section of them glowing and then also in regular daylight so you can see the regular look versus the glowing look. Hopefully you guys liked the video, and we'll catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace, guys.